Hey, it's Renacode here, and today I just want to make a quick video showcasing how we can optimize our Docker files by compressing the run command. And by optimizing this, we end up achieving two things. First of all, our images are going to be built a bit faster, and they're going to be smaller. But let me just first showcase by building the simple Docker file where I just have from an Ubuntu image. And I'm just running a bunch of run commands, so updating my app get, upgrading, installing, a few tools like nano or net tools and so on. So let me just quickly showcase I have no running or no images. So if we build this one, we would do docker build, let's call it poly multiple poly run, and we're gonna build it from this current position. It's then gonna take a few seconds. For me, it's gonna be very fast because I actually already have all this pre built in the back side, but don't worry too much about this. We're going to be looking at the size more just to demonstrate actually this improvement works. So now I have this poly runs and it have a size of 166 megabytes. And what we can then do to improve, and again, as mentioned, it's also going to improve the speed of the build. But what we need to change instead of having multiple runs, I can replace all the runs by using double, like double and kind of the same syntax as we would use in Java. And I also need to add a backslash at the end of each line to showcase that we need to keep going. So this is actually going to be the exact same thing as we did before with a run command on each line. But as mentioned, this is going to be a bit faster for the build and it's going to make the file a bit smaller. So it's just a very small optimization which also in some case might, we can discuss that, but oh, I think it actually made it look a bit prettier. And let's build to showcase, it's gonna be a smaller image. So we do docker, build, st, mono run, because we only have a single run commands, and we're gonna be building it from here. So we're also gonna give this a few seconds to build. And now if I take a look at my docker images, we can see, of course, when doing simple files like this, it's going to be a very small change. But just notice that we're doing 166 compared to 164. So actually, just by changing a very few things, we can actually already make a small impact. And when using like quite large build files, and if we are like rebuilding stuff all the time, when working stuff out and trying new things, it actually makes, in the end, everything a bit faster. So I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration of showcasing how we can optimize our Docker files by turning our multiple run commands into a single one by using a backslash and ants. And if you did, please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.